Are you doing this? Or maybe you're going like this. Well, they're both wrong. And today we're going to fix that. Hey everyone, my name is Quincy Davis and today's lesson is on hi-hat playing. Um, and before we get into the lesson, I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend and student in California, Rocco, um, who kind of inspired this lesson. We had a great lesson today and I thought, hey, I should do a video on that. So here I am. So thanks, Rocco. And if you're interested in taking lessons with me this summer, um, I'm offering online lessons and all you got to do is just visit my website. The link is above and um, sign up for however many lessons you're interested in. And I'm happy to help you address whatever issues uh, you feel like you have in your playing uh, beginner to advanced, whatever level you're at. I'm happy to help. So hit me up. Your hi-hat playing is definitely something you want to work on because it's going to improve your overall sense of swing. Um, when you're playing hi-hats, obviously, but also when you go to play the ride cymbal. Okay, so let's deal with the, the hi-hats. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate a basic hi-hat feel. Um, and this is established and kind of cemented by the great Papa Joe Jones, which, you know, the, his hi-hat playing was his, one of his trademarks. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of break down a few things that um, I think will be helpful in uh, figuring out how to get a good sound with a good feel on the hi-hats. So the first thing is I want you to think of three sounds, these three sounds. Uh, the closed sound, the kind of almost closed sound, and then the half closed sound where the hi-hats kind of sustain a little longer. Now this is the sound that a lot of people, a lot of drummers get wrong. They open their hi-hats too much and you don't hear the sizzle. So instead of getting the sizzle, you just hear, okay? So you don't wanna open your hi-hats all the way. So all three sounds together will sound like this. You hear the sustain of that last sound? And if you put them together, Another mistake that a lot of drummers make is that they play either with the neck of the stick, which is around this area, and or um, usually that coincides with this, where they play on the side. They play on the side of the hi-hats. Not good, not good. You wanna play with the tip on top. Tip on top, meaning tips on top, the tip of the stick on top of the cymbal and in the middle, not to the edge and not all the way to the, the middle of the uh, where the bell is, but somewhere in the, in the middle of the edge and the bell, okay? Okay, and another thing that you wanna keep in mind is, if you notice in that first example, the first two bad examples I was rocking, and I addressed this in another video, but you don't wanna rock. You don't wanna be rocking your body. So just kind of subtly, Use your toes to open and close the highest. Remember, not all the way. And you, you can see this in the in the slipper cam. Okay, so I'll, I'll play a little bit. I'll play slowly, and I want you to pay attention to my toes and to my feet um, and to how little they're moving and to also how I'm kind of staying upright when I play. Here we go. Okay, did you catch it? Another thing I really want you to pay attention to is make sure you're using your wrist and not your arm, okay? So if you notice, I'm really using my wrist and I'm lifting pretty high, right? 
you want to make sure you're getting a nice, clear and crisp, clean sound on beats two and four with the stick, not with your foot, with your stick. So you'll notice I'm coming down pretty strong with my uh, stick on beats two and four. I'm exaggerating a little bit now, but um, you get the point. Okay, but also you'll notice I'm using my wrist a lot, not my arm, okay? Um, the last thing I will say is just to practice your overall swing feel, practice this. On a dry surface, this is really effective because you can really hear each note you're playing. You can really hear your, your rhythm, the rhythm of um, what you're playing. So if it, if it doesn't feel good when you do this, then it's definitely not going to feel good when you, right, when you start opening and closing your hi hat. So practice this first and then graduate to this. And then you can work on getting a little faster. And then a little faster. And a little faster. And you notice how everything, everything I'm doing gets smaller. I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. Okay, so work on your hi-hat playing and have fun. Make sure you listen to Papa Joe Jones playing with Count Basie. And that will give you a very good um, sample and example and demonstration of how they really should sound. I'm just kind of hacking at it. But if you listen to Papa Joe Jones, he swings the whole band just playing the hi-hats and the bass drum, of course. All right. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Leave your comments. If you enjoyed the video, like it. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in the future. All right. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.